Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a very exciting video because I have made a purchase and it hasn't been a cheap one but it is something that I love and I know a lot of people seem to like these type of videos. You know what? It's my YouTube channel. I can do what I want, but kind of. Um, and I like to share these sort of things because as a handbag sort of lover I know that I enjoy kind of watching these YouTube videos myself and I like to see a lot of new releases of handbags and things and I am going to show you all my dream Louis Vuitton handbag it is so 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 cute and it is oh my god it's so nice so before I get this video please make sure to leave a thumbs up a comment down below also subscribe and Let's get on with the video. I know that I'm missing uploads last week. I was really poorly and I kept sneezing. I had the world's worst cold. It was absolutely awful. I could barely breathe. It was literally taking over my head. I do apologise for that, but anyways, I'm back. I'm feeling a lot brighter. I slapped a bit of makeup on. And I feel myself again and I feel even better because I have got the Louis Vuitton Valentine's Alma handbag and this bag it is just absolutely unbelievable it is so beautiful it is pink it has a little claw clip it can even be added into your hair as well and it is detachable and it is Alma BB size and I already have three other almas in the BB size and it's perfect because you're able to fit your phone in there, a purse, all your keys. A lot can fit in these bags and I was having a look on the website and I thought I really like it. Is it a bit is it a bit sort of tacky looking? I'm not too sure and then I think I probably kept going on the website probably every day for like a week or so I was like oh my god and then I saw that another girl in my town had bought it and I was like oh my god it is so pretty because she posted a photo on the story and I was like I need that straight away so this is my little baby anyways I do this in two other colours I do it in a lovely baby blue and then the brightest sort of yellow I watched a review on YouTube of this bag actually and the only downside because it's patent leather or Venice leather not too sure never aged the best so I will have to look after this baby because, I mean, it isn't cheap. I tend to look after all my bags pretty well anyways. <laughs> but if I do a close-up here, it does have a bit of the shimmer to it a little bit, if you can tell. It's so, so, so cute. I like the studs on the bottom. How are, how are you taking this out? I was like, oh my god, it's so cute to wear. It's normal studs on the bottom. It has a little detachable claw clip. It has a little chain and that is actually, well, it's a really cute design actually. Um, this can be taken off the bag at any time as well, just by here. And then, it obviously has the little top handles, and these are ideal for if you want to hold the bag like this as well, which, oh my god, is so cute. Oh, oh my, oh my god, that is so, 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 so cute. And it also has a strap, however, I like this strap because it is extendable. Um, and, well, well at, well, at the moment, it's... Well, at the moment, it is a really sturdy strap because it's brand new. But after time, all the leather on the strap is going to soften. It'll be a bit more kind of bendy and well, more flexible. But it does have a lot of holes. It's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And it is ideal for people who want to make it a lot shorter. And to be honest, I may make it shorter because you know, I'm quite a short person. But... Um, it is handy having that and it obviously can be taken off as well because if you just have the same extra bit to attach it on with and detach it and it has the Louis Vuitton on there obviously on the hardware um, and it obviously has a little padlock and I do have the keys inside and inside as well is pink and it doesn't have a date code obviously because it, well, it's a new release of 2024 and plus and all the date codes has been scrapped after March 2021 Anyways, and it now has, um, it's not a QR code, it has a little chip in it or something. But what, a QR code? Am I weird? Yes, I am weird. But yes, inside, it's so beautiful and pink, it's absolutely beautiful. And oh my gosh. But anyways, inside, it's also, well, it's all pink, it has 
the Louis Vuitton made in France in there, and it has a bit of extra detail in there. Uh, it probably is hard to tell with fingers to zoom in, but it's like that there. Your little monogram pocket as well, and that is so cute because it has a touch of the original LV monogram print. I think that's actually really cute. I may take off the little claw clip because I'm scared in case, well, after wear and tear and things, any colour of the claw clip is going to transfer onto the handle. And it's also quite heavy as well, so if I had this in my hair, it is going to be really heavy. This can be, well, it can be detached off the chain completely as well to put it in your hair but if I, if I try now I'm just well, I don't know what I'm doing here but oh my gosh it's so heavy in my hair but oh my god cute yeah <laughs> but yes but overall I've got to say it is a lovely handbag yeah I will probably have to keep this out of well I will have to keep this out of direct sunlight because well obviously it's uh, prone to get in a lot of sun damage and things and it'll cause leather to kind of fade a little bit but but overall it's perfect it's so so cute and i like how it has a lot of lovely features so i prefer the strap as well because if you compare it to the normal Hal bb it doesn't have an extendable strap whereas well it obviously doesn't this one and it's perfect and uh, i'll be able to change it oh my god it's so cute and because it'll be a limited edition piece as well in years to come it's gonna go up in value so like it's like an investment piece and i know it's a lot of money and i'm not i'm not saying people should purchase a limited edition handbag if you're not keen on it but a lot of the time they are really good investment pieces if you if you know how to look after them correctly and store them correctly as well you know but yeah but this bag is so so cute and it had the little dust bag as well and it also had the box which is perfect and i will be storing this on my shelf full of handbags even though i literally don't have any space for any other handbag at the moment but i will find space hopefully but yeah but anyways people here is my beautiful Alma handbag and she is the most stunning handbag I have probably owned I would say and I love the shine on it it's like oh my god it's so shiny and she's so cute and yeah she, she's well she's my ideal handbag and the other two colours are really nice as well but this one is probably slightly nicer because it's a bit brighter it's probably more girly looking and she's just beautiful here is my little handbag and I hope that people love her as much as I am because she is a baby. She's my little baby. And in no way was I trying to brag or boast. I just have a handbag addiction. I like to collect designer handbags and she is another one to the collection. I love the Alma handbag so much. I bought myself the Alma bracelet. It's so, so cute. And I wear her all the time now because, it, yeah, it just, well, if I could choose any LV handbag to have for the rest of my life, I would have the Almas because I love the top handles, I love the shape of them, and plus it's made for Coco Chanel, so it's like, well, obviously, I want to wear it. But yeah, but anyways, if you guys have enjoyed this video, please make sure to leave a thumbs up, and please make sure to leave a comment if you guys have purchased anything out of the new LV Valentine's collection, because we'll be interested to know, because I think it is such a cute range, and yeah, it's just, well, it's adorable. And please make sure to subscribe as well, because nice to get to 11,000 subscribers and yes i will be back with another video see you later